good angle with his fastball and enough fastball in and off of that. A, a pretty good changeup, a lot like yesterday. You know, anytime you have that good changeup, it kind of it takes a little bit of the speed out of guys' swings. Um, it, was, it was really effective with that. In the seven, the umpires explain there was a challenge from the other side? Or <laughs> yeah, partially. Um, they, the way I understood it was their challenge wasn't even wasn't allowed because they, they did it in, out of order. They just didn't tell us. So they were, there was no challenge. And I told Teddy, I said, I wish you'd have told me. And he said there was a little bit of confusion that they were going to rectify after the game. I said, no, but we're, we're in the middle of the game now. Did you make a clover? You know what? He, he was actually pretty good. I mean, his lower back was, was stiff from swinging a bat. But, you know, they strung three hits together with two outs to get the first run. The stolen base at third where we throw him to left field. And then an 0-2 home run. So, and that was it. I think, I think not only is he a good pitcher, but he knows how to pitch maybe even not on his best day. Yeah, he was just, he, he was starting to stretch a little bit more than we'd seen and just wanted to double check. You guys were challenging Gomes' placement. How did that come into placement of Gomes at second base? Yeah, well, once 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 the runner's safe at second, you know, because the runner at third scored on the overthrow, we just wanted to make sure that they they wouldn't give us a runner going to third. Early in the season, have anything to do with? I know baseball, baseball, a team you're not familiar with. What about it? Playing the Diamondbacks in the early game this early in the season, that any difference for you guys? I mean, besides the fact that the pitchers hit. No, I mean we just played them six days ago.